All right. Going live in three, two, one. the first time for my Chef Katie Chin fan page on Facebook. Thanks for uh, being patient with us because we're trying some new things to expand our audience. You know what I mean? But we're also doing our cool new Zoom format. So we're, we have guests today, which is so cool. Uh, we, of course, have our guest director, Paul Henstrew, joining us from Santa Clarita, California. But we also Hi, everybody. have- Hey, Paul, Good to be here. how are you? Go ahead, uh, we get also have a special guest today, Sashi Chandran, who is the founder of Tea Drops. Round of applause. Hey, everyone. Hi. Thanks Hi. for having me. Thanks Hi. So for, for coming today. Yeah. Sashi is the creator and founder of this amazing product called Tea Drops. You've seen it here before on our show. They're amazing uh, dehydrated tea discs that basically dissolve in hot water. So you don't need a tea bag or a tea filter or anything like that. So it is truly tea magic. And we are actually giving away a sampler box of tea drops today in addition. So as always, we want you to comment. We want you to ask questions. You want, we want you to share your love. Yay. So um, Sashi's gonna make a cocktail for us today. Tell us what you're making Sashi. Yeah, we're gonna kick it off. T Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. Uh, we're making a mint, a mint mule today, super easy. Um, you know, if you're hosting this summer, hopefully we all get the opportunity to, this is something super easy you can put together. And then I just wanted to show the sampler box up front of what you can win. It's our best seller with eight different tea varieties. Some of our best selling tea varieties all in one giftable box. So this is what we'll be giving away today. So shall I start? Please do. Okay. All right. So to make a mint mule, you're going to need one sweet peppermint tea drop. This is what our peppermint looks like. And it's a really soothing blend. This is organic peppermint, organic spearmint leaves, all compressed into a shape. So you need one of these. Um, normally in a mule, you know, you have ginger ale. I use LaCroix. You can use any LaCroix flavor of your choice. And then of course, vodka of your choice. I have a kettle one here. Um, and then we're going to have two cups. So the one cup is the serving cup with the ice. And then I have a little glass here where I'm going to do the tea mixing. So to start, I'm going to add the tea drop into the cup. And this going. So when you add the tea drop in, it's going to look like a little shape hard star flour you add this guy into your cup and you just pour some hot water in I use about three to four ounces of hot water just enough to dissolve it so you're making almost like a tea concentrate and once that looks like it's ready to go when all the tea leaves drop to the bottom then you're going to pour that over ice. And that is going to, um, at the same time, melt the ice. And then you top it off with your favorite LaCroix or ginger ale, if you have that on hand. Then we forgot the, the best part, which is adding however many shots of vodka you want. 
So no, it's, fr it's Friday. So how many are you going to add? Today? I know. Let's, uh, I don't know. You guys, I don't know if there's like a Facebook vote here, but let's, let's kick it off with two a generous two and a half here. Okay. So you got Everybody that. Comment on the number of shots she should put in you guys. <laughs> Shots, shots, shots. Okay, so there you go. It's ready to ready to roll and you can top it off even with more ginger ale LaCroix. And then I just like garnishing it with a little orange wedge. Perfect, ready to go, super refreshing. That looks so refreshing and delicious. So mm -hmm. Paul is gonna copy and paste the URL for your website, uh, wonderfulmindydrop.com. But he's also going to um, copy and paste the URL for the world market link yes so you can this uh at world market who's partnering with us today you guys that looks so delicious so if you know what i'm an entrepreneur and so is sashi and you know could you just take a couple of minutes and tell us a little bit about how you came up with tea drops what was your motivation and of course we want to say hi to your mom may oh she's a, you know she's watching she knows she's know. watching <laughs> we love you um, mom so much. Yeah, but, I would love to. You know, I just think your story is so inspirational. So if you want to just take a couple of minutes and tell us about your journey, that would be awesome. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity, Katie. It's always great to be on your platform, on your show. And thank you so much for spotlighting female entrepreneurs across so many different disciplines. Really appreciate it. Uh, so you. yeah, I started Tea Drops. I launched it about five years ago. And um, the inspiration for me, you know, my, my cultural background is I come from a really tea and rich household. My mom's Chinese and my dad is from Sri Lanka, which is an island off the coast of India. My dad was actually born on a tea estate, worked in some form of the tea trade on the shipping side until he immigrated to the US. Both of my parents are immigrants to this country. So that's something that both Katie and I share that in common. Um, and tea was always part of my upbringing, you know, for every moment and it's an emotional experience um, there was always tea at the table. So chrysanthemum tea was a tea my mom made when I was sick. Black Assam chai was something that we had at Sri Lankan parties and family gatherings. So really I saw tea growing up as this point of connection, uh, a beverage that brought people together. And I always loved and appreciated that. So when I grew up and tea, whole leaf tea, loose leaf tea was part of my upbringing, I noticed that you know not a lot of Americans actually uh, enjoyed loose leaf tea. People usually had tea bags. And then I started working in a more fast paced environment. I was working in Silicon Valley, running meeting to meeting and not really having the time for that ritual of making loose leaf tea because there's a lot of steps involved. So that inspired me to create a bagless tea, whole leaf tea experience. So one where you were getting the full nutrients of loose leaf tea, but without the hassle. Um, and a higher quality than a tea bag. So fast forward, I started in my kitchen five years ago, just making one drop, hand making one drop at a time. And now, um, you know, the company has grown quite substantially. And my mom was there from the very beginning helping me. And um, now we are available nationwide and we're available in, in cost plus world markets. We're available in other grocery retail stores and online and on Amazon. That is so inspiring. I just love your story so much. And my whole family loves the product, especially Becca. She really loves the Thai Yay. tea. Yay, and she thank you. It like morning, noon, and night. So um, we love you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, you can- Yeah, thank you for having me. And, and um, TGIF to everyone. And I hope you have a spectacular weekend. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. We'll Yay. see you guys. Thanks for joining us, Sashi. Don't forget of to course. check out myteadrop.com or at World Market, right, you guys? So Yay. thanks yeah. for joining us. You know, when we popped up in the song, It Takes Two, it's because we are making two different salmon dishes with canned salmon today, you guys. And canned salmon is wonderful because it's something you can forage from your pantry. What I loved about what I love so much about canned salmon is, first of all, it has the same nutrients as uh, regular fresh salmon. Okay, not only that, it's a fraction of the cost, so it's very economical. Plus, it's just so good for you. As a matter of fact, it is so good for you 
We're going to have a trivia quiz right now. Right, Michael Dignary? Welcoming Michael Dignary from Miami, Florida. We have a little quiz today on the health benefits of salmon. Hey, Michael. Oh, actually, Becca's yeah. going to read it. Becca's going to read it. Name All right, go, Becca. Benefit of salmon. A, loaded with omega-3 fatty acid. Can we go back to the quiz, Michael? Yes. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> loaded with. But I got the wrong one up. Hold on. <laughs> Just bear with us for a okay. moment. Okay, okay, let's start over. Okay, Name go ahead. a health benefit of salmon. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh, what? <laughs> I keep going, I keep getting the sushi one. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. You guys, thanks for bearing with us today. So wait. Okay, here we go, start over. Okay, ready, okay. okay. Name a health benefit of salmon. <laughs> Loaded with omega-3 fatty acid, high in vitamin B, loaded with potassium, improves memory, aids in weight loss, helps with sleeplessness, or all of the above. Okay, you guys, I think you can see the answers on the screen. So please enter your answers now and, and Paul will be tallying up your answers, all right? And don't forget- I'm ready. What? Oh, I said I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Hey, Paul, are, do you have any friends joining us on Facebook? Oh, we got lots of people today. We got, well, for starters, your brother, Bill. We Hi, have Bill. Barbara Koppelman Goldhammer. Hey, Barbara. Uh, we have Ken Salmon, Peter Echo, and um, let's see, Barbara Kobelman Goldhammer, she loved the last segment. She loves how Sasha used jars as glasses. A lot of mm. people like that as well. Yeah, excellent. I thought that was so cool. You guys, I also just wanted to mention, in addition to giving away the tea drop samplers that we're giving away a copy of my Everyday Chinese Cookbook, Cookbook, Compliments of Tunnel Publishing, so not only do you have the chance to win tea drops, you have a chance to win my Chinese cookbook. So don't forget to comment either on my fan page or my personal page. Okay, you guys? Very good, all right. I assume some answers are coming in. And, and we wanted to talk about the salmon, but first we're going to make the sauce that's gonna go along with our Asian inspired salmon patties. So Becca's going to, can you guys, uh, let's do a top down look, okay? Here we go. So the sauce is hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce, which is an excellent, if you watched our episode last week, excellent thing to have in your pantry. This is an, a staple Asian pantry item, hoisin sauce, which is made out of bean paste. We also have some rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. We have some rice vinegar. If you don't have rice vinegar, you can just use plain old white vinegar. That is totally fine. We have some water. Sesame oil. Becca's going to go ahead and uh, mix all those ingredients together, just like so. And please, Paul, let us know if we have any questions coming in or comments. We do. Well, Bill Chin says, what isn't a health benefit of salmon? I know. Uh, salmon, I was like, <laughs> salmon Matthew Jonas says, uh, swimming faster is a benefit of salmon. Yes, I, I totally, I'm sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, you know, I was actually doing some research on the health benefits of salmon, and the truth of the matter is, it uh, basically cures everything <laughs> from wrinkles to insomnia to infertility to whiter teeth, shiny hair. Do we have any people uh, entering answers, though, Paul, besides those people? Yes, actually, a lot of people are entering G, all of the above, so I think it's... Uh... Seems to be leaning towards that. Ding, 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 ding. You know what? I think something's a little fishy here. All right. I thought the answer correctly, but I think I kind of gave it away. <laughs> but that is correct. All so right. Numerous health benefits, along with everything we listed. It also lowers uh, blood pressure. The other things I talked about, <laughs> you know, wrinkles, even gray hair, makes your hair shiny, arthritis, like everything, basically. All right. 
Now let's take a look at our pot here, Michael. I'm gonna go back to our pot. So we're just gonna add about two teaspoons of some oil. Mm -hmm. Just like that. That's, that's good, that's good. I'm using some heart healthy canola oil today. And today, to this we're gonna add some fresh minced ginger and some garlic. Good job, there we go. So we just wanna saute this until it's fragrant. So you don't wanna burn your ginger and garlic. We just wanna saute this for about 30 seconds. And it just fills your kitchen with the most amazing aroma. Now, salmon isn't the only all-star here in terms of health benefits. Ginger also an incredible antioxidant, helps with tummy problems. Okay, now we're gonna add the uh, reserved sauce mixture into this pot. Now this is also an incredible sauce. I like to use it with chicken skewers. You can even drizzle it over grilled shrimp, grilled fish, fine honey. So all you wanna do is just stir to combine for maybe a minute. Just get everything heated through with the sauteed ginger and garlic. Okay, that's it. Good job, Becca. All right, now Becca's gonna, we're gonna just put this over here until we're ready to <clears throat> work on that later. Next, we are gonna move on to our Asian-inspired salmon patties, you guys. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take a can of salmon. We're gonna just add it to the bowl. I drained the juice from the salmon. Um, hold on. Okay, good. <laughs> Becca's gonna go ahead and dump our salmon right into the bowl. That's fine. There we go. I did drain it, but what I did, you guys, is I reserved some of the salmon juice. Oh, where'd I go? Hey, Michael, I went away. Okay. Yeah. There you are. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Go back to oh. top down. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add some uh, panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. and I have a bit of salt in there as well. Panko breadcrumbs and salt. We have some minced fresh ginger. And we have some shallots. Now you guys, I know I've, I've thrown this question out before to our audience, but does anybody know, as far as shallots go, it's a blending of garlic and another flavor in the family, in the garlic family, Shallots taste like a combination of garlic mixed with what? Please enter your answers now and you'll be eligible to win one of our fabulous prizes. All right, next we're going to add cilantro. Some cilantro and then Becca's gonna just blend this together. Yes, now I just wanted to say, it's important to not put your wooden spoon into the dishwasher because this is what happens. It's a bit of a curvature of our wooden spoon, but it, we have what we have. So Becca's just going to combine all of these ingredients together and an egg. And she's going to attempt a one hand crack, Becca, one hand crack. It's okay. It's all right. She's going to mix all that together. All right, Paul, do we have any new friends joining us or comments or questions or answers to our trivia? Yes, we have a few answers to the trivia. I also have your sister, Laura, joining. And um, I actually have an answer for your question too, but uh, I'm getting answers, onion. I'm gonna say green onion. And um, well, Matthew, Matthew Jonas has some answers. It says it's garlic's frisky cousin, but. Uh, <laughs> it's garlic's frisky cousin. I like that. You know, it's all in the family. You know what I'm saying? But it's true. Uh, the correct answer is a combination of onion meets garlic is the delicious flavor that we get from shallots. Okay, now that we have all our ingredients combined, as you can see, you guys, this was so fast. I'm gonna have Becca because she's so she's such a good little sous chef. She's gonna take about a quarter of a cup and she's gonna make little patties and she's gonna put them right here, okay? Yeah, so you're just gonna make patties. Now I like to make, I, I only use about a quarter of a cup because um, 
it yields a little patty that's just perfect for a slider because my kids just love eating sliders. How about you, Paul? Do you oh, yeah. love making sliders? I love making sliders because you get to make so many different flavors with it. it everybody can kind of have a little bit of everything. You know what I love? I love to make a global slider bar <laughs> so that you can have like, you know, make some salmon patties. You could make some beef patties. You could even do like Korean fried chicken sliders. Or, then or you even mushrooms, like giant mushrooms. Ooh, portobello, portobello mushroom portobello. slider. That is such a great idea. And then you can have a variety of sauces. We're using just a classic Chinese sauce, but I like to uh, throw down like a chimichurri sauce or a Korean gochujang sauce, or you could do like a delicious pesto or a pico de gallo. So I think it adds a lot of variety. And I also think when you're, you know, putting out a slider bar and your kids are involved, they're sort of creative. Like they get to decide what toppings they put on top of their slider. And I think it encourages them to eat things they might not normally try, right? What do you guys think? You, you got a lot of friends joining, by the way. Who's joining us? We got Douglas Haas, we have Kimberly Sneed, Wayne Oppenheimer just joined. Oh my goodness, it's a party, you guys. <laughs> it takes more than two to have an awesome cooped up cooking with Katie party. And we have definitely a block party, social distance, a virtual block party. All right, next. Now that Becca's awesome job, awesome job. Okay, Becca's made our delicious patties or Asian inspired patties. Now also, this is a really versatile recipe. If you don't have cilantro, add some green onion. You can add, yeah, Becca's gonna wash her hands. She's gonna sing a 20 second song while she does it. While she's singing that song, I would like all of you to comment with your favorite 20 second hand washing song, okay? Matthew Jonas, what's your favorite 20 second hand washing song? Mine is, let's see, lately, I'm going to say mine is um, B-52s. Katie, Love did, you say, did yes. you say 20, did you say 20 minute or 20 second? In your case, 20 minute, in my okay. case, 20 minutes. Okay, next, you guys, we're going to go ahead and pan fry our Asian salmon patties. And what's so great about this particular dish, I mean, obviously, the salmon's already cooked through. So it just takes a couple of minutes per side to cook the salmon patties. You can also freeze these in advance. Becca's like, I gotta go soon because she has a dance class. So right after we, uh, actually what we're gonna do, Paul and Michael, uh, when we're pan frying our patties, Becca and I, we're gonna do our TikTok dance break because it seems like an ideal opportunity, right you guys? Here we go. I'm just gonna sizzle these up in our canola oil and i'm going to let's see i'm going to look around for something i don't see but that's okay all right we're going to let these pan fry but in the meantime beck and i are going to do our TikTok dance break <laughs> Thank you for joining us for our TikTok dance break. It's basically the only exercise I get all week, but it's like at least 20 seconds, which is better than nothing, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Hey, Katie. Yeah. Oh, we got a few questions uh, that are that are good for this. One, your sister Laura is asking, are the patties freezable before or after being cooked? And also, um, Someone is asking, can you combine with another seafood like shrimp or crab? Excellent questions. Thank you so much. And if you're like me, you're in a seafood diet. When you see food, you eat it. Uh, hold on a second. So um, to answer your question, Laura, I would suggest uh, if you're going to freeze these before you cook them, I would put them on a baking sheet on parchment paper, let them freeze, then put them into a freezer bag because otherwise they're all going to stick together. Otherwise, pan fry them, let them cool 
then freeze them in a freezer baggie. Now Becca's gonna say bye because she has a dance class. Bye. bye. Great question. Also, if you want to combine these with another type of seafood, totally fine. I would just suggest, you know, maybe um, chopping up some shrimp, but make sure that shrimp is cooked in advance because the salmon is already cooked. So you want the cooking time for each seafood ingredient to be somewhat similar, if that makes sense. You could also add some tofu to this dish for a plant-based addition to the recipe. The only thing I suggest is whenever you're cooking with tofu, you want to make sure that you pat it really dry. Now I'm just going to add some salt and pepper for my beautiful world market salt and pepper shaker grinder. It's so beautiful. Just uh, season these a bit with salt and pepper, like so. You guys, look how easy that was. So fast, so simple. Just We just want them to brown on either side. There we go. Oops, this is a bowl, not a plate. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna grab my plate. Plate up these beautiful, Salmon patties. There we go. Just like so. Looks so good. You guys, it smells really good. And I did test this recipe, I'm just telling you the other night, and my kids went crazy for it. Another great sauce to serve with this dish would be a sriracha mayo. So just mix some mayonnaise with some sriracha. But today we're using our delicious sauce we made a bit earlier. I'm going to drizzle our salmon patties. Can you see that, Michael? Drizzle our salmon patties with the yummy sauce. Ooh, that looks good. Then I'm just going to garnish with a bit of cilantro, like so. You see? Ooh, that looks delicious, you guys. And loaded with omega fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids, so good for you, so nutritious, very lean, protein, healthy. Best part is you can make this with canned salmon from your pantry. Okay. All right, next, you guys, we are going to move on to our sushi salmon bowl. So yummy. Now we're not using raw fish today. We're cheating a little bit. We're, we're using canned salmon because for ease, and versatility, we're using canned salmon. But I thought we'd just launch into our next trivia quiz, Michael Dagnary. Okay, Michael, why don't you tell us about sushi and what it means in Japanese and let everyone know the multiple choice answers. All right, I have a hard follow to act after Becca with her uh, uh, salmon uh, recipe. I know. But, so but this is but this is a cooked up cooking with Katie trivia quiz about sushi. So the word sushi in Japanese means A, sour rice, B, precious grains, C, cooked rice, or D, raw fish. Please enter your answers now. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, you guys, please. Enter your answers now, okay? I think the answer is gonna surprise you. All right, you guys. So let's move on to our sushi rice. As you can see here, I just have some sushi rice that I uh, actually bought from worldmarket.com. But before I steamed the sushi rice, the key to making a successful pot of white rice, you guys, is to wash the rice. And it's something that a lot of people know, a lot of people don't know, so they're intimidated by making rice because their rice ends up being sticky and mushy and gloppy. But the key is to wash that rice. So uh, sushi rice is no exception, and Michael is going to share a quick little video on how to wash your rice correctly. It's coming, <laughs> it's coming. Michael's asleep at the wheel again, you guys. I know. <laughs> okay. Katie, we have a few answers coming in. Well, okay. okay. Unless Michael's ready. To properly wash rice, 
you simply add water to a pot of raw rice. Then you swirl the grains with the water. Drain the water from the pot. Repeat the process. About three or four times. Now the youngest in the Chinese family is usually responsible for washing the rice. So I am an expert at this because I am the youngest in my family. <laughs> so just maybe one more time here. And you want to continue doing this until the water runs clear. Just like so. Drain once again and then add the desired amount of water and you're set to go for a perfect pot of white rice. Yay, good job. Thanks, Michael. So the reason you want to wash your rice is because otherwise, while the, uh, rice, uh, the rice is cooking, the starch from the rice, it gets released into the water and then it's reabsorbed. And therefore your rice is really sticky and clumpy and yucky. So I promise you, this is going to change your life. People have told me that seriously, wash your rice, drain it, add the right amount of water and you will have a fluffy, delicious pot of rice every time. Now, let's not forget, you guys, we are giving away a sampler set of tea drops, Sashi Chandran's amazing tea drops. We're giving away a sampler set. We're also giving away a copy of my cookbook, Everyday Chinese Cookbook. So don't forget to enter your answers to our most recent trivia quiz and, uh, you know, just say hi. You can just give me a wink. That's totally fine. All right. Back to our sushi rice. As I was saying, I got this. Let's do a top-down view, Michael. I got the sushi rice. I washed it. I uh, To one cup of dry sushi rice, raw dry sushi rice, I added about one and one quarter cup of water. Then I'm taking some rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, or you can do it in a saucepan. Do you want that salt and sugar to dissolve into the rice vinegar? I'm just adding it to our sushi rice and then I'm just going to blend it. Now, a lot of people kind of do this action so that it cools while you're blending the vinegar, the salt and the sugar into the sushi rice. Now you guys, sushi rice, the grains are actually pretty round. Like the rounder the grain of the rice, the stickier it is because it has more starch. So basmati and long grain rice, not sticky at all. Sushi rice, quite round, so very, very sticky. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside and let's move on to our sushi, right? I mean, sorry, our sushi trivia quiz. Okay, Michael? Michael Dignary, let's move on to our sushi trivia. But we already. Oh, we did well, that already. We did well, this. Right. Right. Katie, I have a few <laughs> answers from people. Oh yeah, let's hear the answers. Okay, now this one I don't think is right. Matthew Jonas says chakalaka laka, or you know. <laughs> uh, Barbara Copeland Goldhammer says A sour rice. We have Dee Dee Gustafson saying D raw fish. So. Uh, a few choices. The correct there. answer is A, sour rice. All right. The answer is A. Okay. So the sour flavor comes from the rice vinegar. Okay. Here we go. Now we're just going to make the sauce. It's going to go over our little salmon sushi bowl. I have some mayonnaise. I just have a bit of light soy sauce, adding some sriracha sauce. You can also get sriracha sauce at worldmarket.com, you guys. And then some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I'm just gonna stir this clip to combine. I love it because it's so creamy and it's tart and it's spicy. And a touch of brightness from the lemon. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. Next going to take our bowl, add our sushi rice, whoops, sushi rice to the bottom. Now, if you guys don't have sushi rice, you can use another kind of white rice. 
but uh, I love sushi rice because it's yummy and sticky, which I love. Okay, next to this, I'm just gonna add some slices of cucumber. I'm gonna add some slices of avocado, you guys. Now you can use whatever toppings you like, like when you go to a poke bar, you know, I love that crispy garlic. What do you like, Matthew Jonas? On your poke bar. On your poke bowl. Uh, <laughs> Matthew loves poke and so do all my kids. So we just love all the stuff like edamame that you can add on top of there. Oh, like, let's not forget also some seaweed. And today we're using sea snacks, seaweed, all otherwise known as nori, dried seaweed sheets. I love I just, that. Aren't they so good? My kids love it. It's so good for your hair and your nails and your teeth, right? All right, I just crumpled this, so I'm gonna add it to the side. See that? Then we're gonna add our salmon. There you go, just like so. And it's just, I mean, listen, it's so healthy. It's, it's so light. It fills you up, filled with flavor, but not a lot of fat, which is also great. Next, I'm gonna just garnish with a bit of toasted sesame seeds. I love adding fresh ginger too. Oh yeah, like that pickled ginger, good idea. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see me garnishing right now? You can? Okay, great. Now then I'm gonna add, okay, we've got all that. Then we're just gonna drizzle with a bit of our yummy sriracha mayo lemon sauce, just like so. Woo! Can't wait to dive this in, dive into this. Okay, see that? All right, look at this. Our delicious salmon roll sushi bowl. Literally, you guys can make this in just a few minutes, especially- uh, looks so good. If you have leftover rice, I would just recommend popping it in the microwave, adding the vinegar, the salt, and the sugar, just blending it together, then just topping. And you can also use any kind of seafood. You could add some crab sticks to crab sticks to this. You could add some shrimp, whatever you may have on hand. So let's just recap, you guys. We have our delicious Asian-inspired salmon patties with a delicious sauce. We have our salmon roll sushi bowl. And where are these recipes located, Paul? They are at www.chefkatiechen.com. Great. And listen, we all love that you guys are joining us, but we would also love if you made a donation to Feeding America, because we want to keep all those food banks full for the less fortunate. So Paul's going to copy and paste a link for Feeding America and how you can donate. Now, Let's just talk one more time about our giveaways today. We're giving away a copy of Everyday Chinese Cookbook, my Chinese cookbook. We're also giving away a sampler pack of tea drops. All you have to do is comment. I'm just gonna you know, give you 10 more seconds to comment before we close the contest. And don't forget to join us this Sunday at three o'clock Pacific Standard Time for another episode of Cooped Up Cooking with Katie. Melissa's Produce will be joining us and Sevilla Gave, two exciting giveaways on Sunday. As always, a hundred dollar pantry box from Melissa's Produce and a sample pack from Sevilla Gave. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to comment before we say goodbye. So you're eligible to win one of the two exciting prizes. Okay, ready you guys? 10. Nine, Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, three two, two, one. Yay! Thank you so much for joining us today with our new and improved exciting format. Thank you so much again to Sashi. Chandran from T Drops for joining us and sharing her incredible story. Please check out her amazing product at myteadrop.com. Until then, happy cooking, have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Sunday. Bye.